Welcome back, boxing fans. It's your boy, Mike the Diller on the mic. You tune in to Pro Boxing Media TV, home of hardcore boxing fans. Well, they say it's the new year, and who am I to disagree? So the WBA, who's under uh, their own mandate to eliminate all the glorious belts that they have, I lost count on how many belts they have. The W Super, WBA Super, WBA Regular, WBA Fabulous. I have, I don't even know how many belts they have. But now they're trying to get to only one belt. So former WBA Super Champion Devin Haney moved out to 140 pounds, and the WBA uh, seized the opportunity to get rid of the WBA. Super lightweight title. So a lot of people have been calling. Um, Devontae Tank Davis an email champ now. Thinking that it was a similar situation to. When uh, Devin Haney became the WBC champ. And they were calling him an email champion. Well this case is a little different because. Javante Davis was not given any belt. Javante Tank Davis still has the same belt that he's always had. The WBA lightweight title. Now the WBA super title is the one that was created. And that's the one that uh, Devin Haney has. And now that's the one that just got eliminated. So... Javante Tank Davis did not get elevated or they didn't give him a belt. They simply eliminated the super the super title, the super WBA title. And now there's only one WB, WBA belt in the lightweight division. And now that title holder is still Javante Tank Davis. Now, uh, Tank Davis is the WBA title holder. And guess who's the number one contender for that belt? None other than Isak, the Pitbull Cruz. So, if you, t if you put one and one together, I think that we're going to see the rematch between Tank Davis and Isak Cruz very soon. All the all the all the signs are pointing to that rematch real soon. He's a number one contender, uh, and Tank Davis is the champion unless Tank Davis just uh, vacates that belt <clears throat> in search of uh, bigger fights. I myself ha don't have a problem with that uh, fight if they were to fight again. You know. Isak Cruz is an action fighter as well. And I think um, if Tank Davis is healthy, you know he had that hand injury in the first fight. So if he's healthy, I don't think that would be an issue. And I think we could have a, a more entertaining fight than the first one because I think Tank Davis would, would engage more. So I think that, could, that, that has a possibility to be a very entertaining and explosive fight in the rematch if they do get it on again. You have Shakur Stevenson as well, who's waiting for his turn. He's called out uh, Tank Davis in the past. And now, you know, Shakur Stevenson is the WBC title holder. That'll be, in my eyes, the best fight out of 135. Shakur Stevenson versus Gervonta Tank Davis. But who knows if that fight's going to happen. You know, Shakur Stevenson is... Uh, Scheduled to be a free agent soon, so let's see who he signs with. If he signs with the PBC, then maybe a fight with Tank Davis might be more of an opportunity. More of a, it'll be a greater chance of that fight happening. Also, Vasily Lomachenko keep getting title opportunity as he's gonna fight George Cambosos Jr. for the vacant IBF title. It comes as no surprise as the man is uh in a business relationship with one of the most powerful men in boxing, and that's Bob Arum. 
So even though he's coming off a defeat to Devin Haney, Mr. Vasily Lomachenko gets yet another title shot. And uh, there's no reason to believe that he can't beat um, George Cambosos Jr. Shakur Stevenson recently went out and I think it was yesterday he he went in uh, and called out Emmanuel Navarrete. Emmanuel Navarrete is currently at 130 pounds. But just uh, 135, 130 pounds is just one stop away from 135. So for those people that keep saying, you know, you don't call out somebody who's not in your division. When it's one division away, that I don't see that as a problem. Fighters go up and down all the time, especially up a division. If you're talking featherweight and, and junior welterweight, I can understand that. But from 130 to 135, that's an acceptable call out. Who do I think Tank Davis is going to fight next? It's the man on the screen. I think or one of the guys on the screen, Mr. Rayo Valenzuela, Jose Rayo Valenzuela, who just, he's coming off a tremendous knockout of Chris Colbert. And I think Rayo Valenzuela is the perfect opponent for Tank Davis. You know, he's the type of opponent that uh Tank Davis team usually picks. Uh in this case I think it'll be a very entertaining fight. Ryo's the perfect opponent. I think Ryo can be outbox. I think he can be uh hurt. He can be stopped. And but what makes this fight entertaining as well is that Ryo also carries power and it'll be interesting to see if he could catch uh Tank Davis and make it an interesting fight. So that's my pick. I think that fight might happen next. Of course, Frank Martin too is a possibility. But I don't really think they want that, that fight right now. I don't think Frank Martin has the uh, profile yet to, to make a, a, a Tank Davis a big fight. Of course, they have similar fan bases. So they could come out in great numbers to see two of their favorite fighters fight. So, But I think Rayo Valenzuela or Isaac Cruz might be the more... Uh, the more obvious choices for Tank Davis to start off in 2024. That's pretty much it uh, as far as uh, Gervonta Davis being an email champ. The man is not an email champ. You got to call it how it is. The WBA just simply eliminated the ridiculous super, super title that they had added before. So now... It's actually a good thing we have only one title. And now the title holders at 135 are is uh, Shakur Stevenson with the WBC. The, uh, Gervonta Tank Davis with the WBA. And soon we're going to have the IBF between uh, Vasily Lomachenko and uh, Cambosos Jr. Actually, I think uh, somebody correct me in the comments. I, ha I haven't been paying attention too much because of these titles. Is Shakur Stevenson the WBC or is he the WBO? I got to look that up. I then, you know, I, I, if you guys know me, I'm, I'm very against all these titles. I think there should be only one title in boxing. It should be only one champion just like every other sport. The, w the NBA, NFL, NHL, all these... Sports have only one champion. It's only boxing that has a ridiculous four belts. And they're scheduled that pretty soon, mark my words, we're going to have the IBO join the fray. And we're going to go into, unwillingly go into the five belt era. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to get even worse and worse. So let me know in the comments below if uh, Shakur is the WBO or the WBC. Uh, so, and uh, we're going into the Q&A section of the program And this one comes from Amarma Mood 6694 Who said, but got lucky, Spence wasn't himself Obviously, um, referring to the 
super fight between Terence Bud Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. for the undisputed championship at uh, welterweight that we saw last year and made Terence Bud Crawford our fighter of the year and pound for pound number one fighter in the world. Uh, I was rooting for Spence in that fight, but I must say that uh, any excuses made at this point are irrelevant. It doesn't make any sense. Once you sign up to fight, it is your it, it is your business to make sure that you go into the fight healthy, that you take care of business and training, and you take care of your body the way you're supposed to take care of it. You're supposed to know who's a, who's the people that you have around you, and 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 that they take care of you when the time comes. Whatever happens, that's part of Errol Spence Jr. Uh, to take care of. It has nothing to do with Terrence Buck Crawford. Terrence Buck Crawford did what he had to do. And he showed up to fight like he agreed to. And uh, no excuses. So Bud did not get lucky. Bud trained hard. You know, not just for that fight, but in his entire career to build, uh, to develop a, a, a certain skill set that make him uh, the best fighter in the world today, in my opinion. And uh, so that's the answer to that uh to that statement i thank you so much for watching the video and thank you so much for leaving a comment and i encourage others to leave a comment or a question and i'll always answer it in the next videos so stay tuned for that and all the at the end of the videos i'm gonna have a little q a and respond to uh subscribers subscribers uh statement or question so that's the one for today but got lucky spence wasn't himself i don't agree now, in other news, we're going to be moving on to, uh, I made a new channel called the Gloves Are Off Boxing Podcast. The reason why I'm doing that is because if you go to the YouTube search bar and you put in Pro Boxing Media TV, you will see that there's a new company and they've, uh, they got money, man. So you know how that works. We little, we little people with no money, man. They came and take over. So our, our channel, Pro Boxing Media TV, can't get any organic growth it can't get any search growth as you search that title uh, you get you get i think paul malinaji made up uh you know started that business so i think we're going to be transitioning to the new channel called the gloves are off boxing podcast so if you've been rocking with us with us here at pro boxing media tv i encourage you to go over to that channel and subscribe i've yet to release any content there i think i might uh double release this video you know over there as well so go over there and subscribe to that channel as well i might keep this channel as a film and documentary type of channel where we release you know uh, documentary style videos um but if it continues to grow i might keep it as well and just rock both channels i'm also starting i'm also thinking of starting a uh, or just the same, the gloves are off. Boxing channel might make it a Spanish channel as well. You know, English and Spanish. For those people that love boxing and speak Spanish, I, as you know myself, I'm bilingual. I speak uh, Spanish and English. So we're gonna go ahead and talk this boxing with our Spanish-speaking audience. So stay tuned for that. But as always, you've tuned in to Pro Boxing Media, home of the hardcore boxing. Fans. Everybody stop talking now. Attention. Till next time, it's your boy Mike the Dealer on the mic. Peace. Everybody stop talking now. Attention.